So, uh, we're back. So, so uh, you were about to say something, and I, I, we had to go to break. Yeah, no, I was just saying that because when you have a new administration coming in, they mm -hmm. gain access to information they didn't have before. And I'm just wondering if the fact that the Obama administration had listed these particular seven countries as potentially problematic, and these are the exact same seven countries that now he's saying put a 90-day hold, not a ban, he can't permanently ban anybody, put a 90-day hold until we review it. I'm wondering if that wasn't a factor well, in his decision-making. You know, it, all it, Syrian it's not a Muslim. Muslim ban, if it were a Muslim, it is ban, a Muslim ban, every Muslim sorry, majority like country would be banned. All right is, is not all right. You know what I mean? It's a Muslim ban. That's what it is. But then Giuliani said but, it was. And here's the, and he here's the, what, that's here's the, and here's the action, other thing. That's not what it is. Yeah. How can we ban Muslims legally? But in action, Watch the if tape. you were going to ban all Muslims, you would ban all Muslims from Muslim majority countries, and these are seven Unless countries. Unless you have business interests in those countries. Well, that, that's what there's 40 yeah. countries. My I'm just saying it doesn't match the, up. The to biggest me. thing I was curious about was how Saudi Arabia did not make this list or Pakistan. Or Pakistan. Yeah, those two men, I don't. I mean, but I haven't you, heard an explanation. No, there isn't there one. Isn't. They're not going to give this it. This is the, and and also, you know, come on, you know, he's doing what he said he would do. This is a lot of grandstanding. But the bottom line is, if it was about safety, mm -hmm. then let's make America safe from within. I agree. With because you. if That's you're going point. to. You know, if you're going to talk about terrorists, we got a lot of homegrown terrorists. It's true. Yeah. And that has been basically who's been shooting up uh, well, the, the school. clubs yeah. and the, the uh, New on the, uh, no, 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 the, um, you know, where all the, where the soldiers are. Oh, the base, well, the army base. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, that's all homegrown. That's not yes. anybody coming from anywhere else. And whether you like Trump or not, that is a fact. And, yeah, and just to say, about, I'm shocked that they do anything that, you know, Obama might have pointed out. As you know, they've not been very... Uh, they'd like to blame him. They blame him yeah, for everything. Yeah, using him so, now. I mean, the bottom line is, but you know... You know yeah. Here's the other. You talk to that point about how unsafe he's been. Yeah. All of this banning that he's doing is recruiting more ISIS terrorism. That is the bottom line of this particular thing that he's doing. They're, don't you think they're using this? And you know what's interesting? I'm, I was using this I'm against sure, I'm us. sure they are, but a lot of people say that those people who are intent on killing people who stand for freedom, and by that I mean Americans or any democracy that stands for freedom, are going to do it anyway. Yeah, but they, they don't can recruit. The incentive is that they they're can't recruiting stand what new stand people. For. But, but to that point, is why he has to be the, careful and not not blanket statement everything for a religion and say, and target it, target it to appropriate places. But I think in his mind, he, that's what he was doing because what these do you seven mean, countries. They, what do you mean they're against everything we he, stand for? What does that mean? I'm saying radical. That's changing radically no, because radical, we don't have a democracy radical, pretty soon, so no. they won't have to worry but about it. Radical you know, Islamic Saudi extremists Arabia. stand wait, against wait, our wait, constitution. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, just, just, I can't hear anything anybody's saying, so, so go ahead. I, well, I'm, I'm responding to that they, they attack us because they hate what we stand for. What does that mean? We stand for freedom. Our constitution stands for freedom. And you think freedom. that that's why they're attacking us? I I think that there are a lot of radical, countries in the world that stand for freedom. They're not attacking them. Really? They don't attack anyone in France. They don't attack anyone. It's going on. This is not an American problem. There this are is many. I'm problems. not saying. Don't don't give me anecdotal evidence about France. There are other countries in the world that are democracies that are not being attacked. They attack. And you know it. They what? attack. Free, the this Syrian isn't about refugees America. are not the ones attacking. That's yeah. my but that's, 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 that's point. my point. And They're not the ones that are doing. The people who are do doing it. this. You know what? I know what to do. <laughs> If we were able to take some money mm -hmm. and put the people on the ground who can actually do the work, who can go through the things and check the, and really check folks, instead of just doing a blanket thing that makes no sense. Like border that, well, yeah. border agents and people who can check emails and people who can do, Revamp because I know that we've been safe. There have been, you know, things that have happened, mm -hmm. but nothing major thus far. Mm -hmm. Nothing major Why is Iraq on the list? Didn't we invade that country, upset the whole country, yeah, and now they're not allowed to come here I, either? I want to say this. Former CIA Deputy um, Director Michael Morell was on, uh, on television this morning, and he said that the travel ban will, in fact, make America less safe. Yes. And he said of the roughly 100 people who have been indicted by the FBI mm -hmm. for ISIS-related crimes over the last three years, 85% were American citizens. Mm -hmm. 85 percent. Okay. That's, that's yeah. the thing. But I do, I, 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 I mean, don't anybody fall over, but uh, I want to salute some Republicans yeah. who are standing against the ban. Yeah. 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 Well, there are you know, hope. Those John that, McCain, Lindsey Graham, Bob Corker, Charlie Dent, Justin right. Amish, Dan Newhouse, Elise mm -hmm. Stefanik, Brian Fitzpatrick, and Ileana 
Rosenthal and Carlos Cubano. Thank you, because that's, to me, you know, that's all we've got. We, we, if you're gonna do it, then let's do it the right way. Mm -hmm. This was not the right way. Yeah. And no matter how many times Steve Bannon says it or the guy who is his mouthpiece, it was the wrong way. Yeah. You handled it badly. Yeah. And admit it and let's move on. We'll be right back.